hello everyone so in today's video we are going to see what are roles and how we can assume the roles to perform some operations uh, on the AWS services okay so what roles helps us to do is that using role we can temporarily get permission to do something with our AWS account or to use some AWS services so role basically has two things that assume that the role has to be assumed or if it is a AWS service then the AWS service if it wants to access another service then it does not need to assume the role but it will have the role attached to it the role has two things number one is who can assume the role it is called trust relationship and number two what permission does the role have so the role will have some AWS policies attached to it policies can be predefined which are provided by AWS or we can define our custom policies and attach it to a role so what happens for example my EC2 needs to put some files on S3 so in this case EC2 will need permission to access the S3 buckets now what I will do in that case I will create a role and to that role I will assign a policy AWS custom uh, AWS predefined policy to like for example say we are providing S3 full access we will attach full access policy to that role now we will attach that role to EC2 when it is assigned uh, attached with EC2 then EC2 will be able to put some files on S3 otherwise it won't be able to access it right so this is the case when one service wants to access another service within AWS now what happens that if I am not a service I am a person I am a user or I am a web identity right which is which does not exist on AWS but I exist on OIDC platform something right so what I can do instead I can assume a role so assuming a role means for example uh, just take a little example like some person has some privilege some authority he is going on leave and he is telling his subordinate like during my absence you assume my role so that whatever I can do you can do I am giving you that authority so think of role in that way right so what we are going to do now is we are going to create first an AWS account a user and we are going to attach no policies to it so it won't have any access to any of the AWS services right then we are going to create a role and attach some policies to it and then we will assume that role our user which we create will assume that role and then we will try to access some AWS service and see if it works or not right so now I will go to AWS first of all so this is my AWS account console I am going to IAM identity and access management and here I will create a user and I will name it YouTube demo and I will not add a user to any group I will not assign any permission to it right so I will click next so in the summary we can see permission summary it does not have any permissions I will create this user so I have this user now YouTube demo for this user I want to access this user uh, I want to access AWS as this user through the AWS CLI so I will create the access keys and my use case is that I am going to use it for AWS CLI I will understand it and I will create next hit next create the access key and I am going to download the CSV now I have these demo access keys with me which are available here as well right so the next thing that I am going to do is to log into CLI using this secret uh, access key and secret access key now I am on AWS and I am going to set the AWS access key so basically let me configure my AWS account 
so I will hit uh, the command AWS configure it will ask me wx access key id and the secret secret access key which we can take from here so this is my access key id and this is my secret access key it will ask me a default region i will give ap south 1 and the default output format is going to be json now i have my aws account configured right now as you know my aws account does not have permission to do anything with any of the AWS services. So there is one command AWS S3 LS. This command will list all the buckets in my S3. I will hit enter and it says access denied. Let's read the full error. An error occurred access denied when calling the list buckets operation because user this is the Amazon resource name for my user account is not authorized to perform S3 list all my buckets because no identity based policy allows the S3 list my buckets action. So this is an action that I want to list my all buckets but my user account does not have permission to do so. Why? Because we attached no policies to it. The policy will define the permissions. Next we are going to create the role. So let me go to users and we will need this ARN so I will copy it and I will paste it on my notepad right I have my ARN here for my user account let's go and create a role create role and this is going to be an AWS account so I told you two things that we have that there are two parts of an IAM role number one who can assume the role which is defined in trust relationships so AWS account is the trusted entity type for our use case and this AWS account this AWS user has exist in our same account we can use another uh, we can pro provide permission to another account as well to assume the role so this is the account I will create hit next and I will select the permissions that I want so I will give s3 full access permissions right I will hit next role name YouTube demo hyphen role as of now we are not going to make any change to this trust policy we can see that we have s3 full access permission on this role I will create the role now we have the role created I will go to the next page and I have my YouTube demo role here now in the trust relationships I am going to edit this trust policy why because the principle in our trust policy is the root which means the root account can assume a role but I want my account which I created just now to be able to assume this role so for that I have copied the ARN and I will replace it so the account that I created right now can assume this role what action it can do it can assume the role so we will use AWS STS service to assume the role how we are going to get temporary credentials for that now I will update this policy the policy is updated our next step is to copy the ARN for this role as well I will paste it on my notepad now what do we need to do is to assume this role so for that we have a command AWS STS assume role then we pass an option role ARN and the role ARN is going to be this and it asks us to provide a session name because we are going to establish a session then it will ask us for a session name so I am going to call it YouTube demo session you can call it anything whatever you like now as we saw that our AWS account now AWS S3 LS still it is not working now we are going to assume the role let's run this command wow 
now we have some JSON data and it says that we have credentials and in these credentials we have got again the AWS access key ID the secret access key right along with a session token right so these are the three things which we are going to configure and after configuring them we will be able to assume this role now these credentials have these permissions what it does have these credentials when we use these credentials when we log into CLI using these credentials we will be able to perform the uh, perform the role which is this role the YouTube demo role so it has assumed a role which is the YouTube demo role now YouTube demo role whatever permission it has the account or service which we are going to run through these credential will have these permissions let's go ahead and see so let me copy the credentials from here to my notepad now I have some set of commands here I have to reconfigure my AWS CLI so for that I am going to use these commands so it is And my session token starts from here and goes till here now let me take a second to explain these commands to you we are going to run AWS configure set we are going to set the variable for configure the AWS access key ID is the new access key ID which we have received from the STS AWS secret access key we have received from STS and this is the session token this will define for how long our session is valid by default it is valid for one hour it is defined in our role so we can edit it as well so the maximum session duration is one hour so these credentials are valid for one hour we can take it up to 10 or 12 hours now let's run these commands on cmd one by one or you can do it all of three all together okay so now our new credentials are set now let me do AWS S3 LS so these are all the buckets which exist in my AP South one because it is the default re region so earlier using those credentials which did not had any permission we were not able to perform the AWS S3 LS command now because our role this role so whatever permissions this role has whatever permission this role has it will be available to these credentials so whoever is using these credentials will be able to perform everything that is defined in the permissions here so this is how we assume the role after one hour these credentials will not work and we will have to use the AWS STS command again to assume the role and get fresh credentials we can change the duration here as per our use case which goes up to 12 hours and we can set a custom duration as well but 12 hours will be the at most so let's close it so I hope you liked the video and it was helpful to you thank you so much for watching